phosphate removal building and um, that's been delayed for another week. It'll come in the next week or two. And other than that, things seem to be running fairly smoothly. We've finished our paving for the air. Is Johnson going to try to do that alley? Uh, Actually, we, we just did the uh, filled the ditch in yesterday and blades closed yesterday. Oh. So we'll we'll top that off in the springtime. Okay. But it's uh, it's all tidied up for the winter time. Okay. All right. So we finished our paving and you can see we uh, did some parking lot maintenance. Again the center street we sealed that for preventive maintenance and that looks good. The fence that was installed over there replacing the shrubbery and making a more safe uh, for visual and, and, and actually more aesthetically pleasing uh, uh, to that area. It looks really nice. Uh, and, uh, our guys did that, did a great job. And the parking lot here uh, looks much better. And uh, so we've accomplished a lot in the form of paving and, and, and uh, enhancements around our community. Um, to that end, on December 7th in the evening, we've got Alfred State College architectural students doing a presentation at the uh, Community Arts Center. Of um, They're going to be doing a presentation. They did some streetscape work, uh, some uh, also took some, uh, went into some buildings and did some potential designs for buildings and things like that for living units, and that'll be uh, December 7th at, uh, what time was that, Mitch, uh, that uh, Rex was going to do that? I thought it was around 6 o'clock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Five, 5 to 7, five, I yes. think, yeah, yeah, 5 to 7. So after work or whenever you stop over and, and take a look at what they've done. Uh, a lot of, one of the suggestions, remember last year they had uh, multiple displays, and one of those suggestions, those displays, was to, that the city should go to, uh, LED lighting because it's a much more bright light and it's more attractive and they use that in some of the designs. To that end we have uh, signed a proposal to take all our all this, the city owned decorative lighting center city and convert it to um, a uh, LED and the, uh, the payback on that is less than one year and energy savings. So it was a no-brainer and uh, they're supposed to be installed within the next month or so. They're, not, they're, they're supposed to start. Yeah, so supposed to start. we were happy to report that. Lime, um, is that Lime Energy? Yeah. Lime, yeah right. Lime Energy. So, and then also Mitch has been on the hunt for a, a back con, you know, a sewer truck that has the ability to uh, do a, a, more than just, you know, have a cannon, a water cannon. This will suck out DIs and stuff like that. They're a very expensive piece of equipment. Uh, Mitch has found a low-hour uh, uh, vehicle from New Jersey, uh, VACCON. It's uh, a 2015, yes. and um, and the the. We were negotiating price now, and they want two fifty for it. Mitch has offered to uh, ask them to see if they take a haircut. Did you hear back from them? Not yet. Uh, so, what we would do with that was, uh, we would probably do a lease purchase, put some money down, and then uh, uh, pay so much a year uh, over the course of the the, the uh, period of time to uh, um, you know pay that truck off. And um, but there's the truck. They're going to drive it up from New Jersey to let us see it. But I we had one in the yard. Oh, that that's a contractor. Yeah. Oh, okay. That, that those those trucks brand new are about three hundred and forty thousand. Well, this is a fifteen. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 